So how do you stop that? Well, fret not. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll show you a couple of ways in which you can stop Windows from saving files to your OneDrive folder and just save files locally. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you can do is just play around with OneDrive's own settings. It's pretty simple, neatly designed and quite straightforward. Just right click on the OneDrive icon in the taskbar and select settings. Now in the OneDrive settings, go to the backup tab. Click on manage backup and uncheck the folders that you don't want to add to OneDrive. Click on OK to save the changes and that's it. All right, so that is one way. But then again, OneDrive is present almost everywhere on your Windows PC. To give an example, OneDrive is from Microsoft and Microsoft Office is also from Microsoft. So basically, whenever you're using Microsoft Office and just want to save a file, OneDrive will be the first option that comes up. So how do you disable that option? Well, it's quite simple. Just open the Microsoft Office app whose files you want to save on your computer instead of OneDrive. Click on File followed by Save As. Now choose this PC and select the folder on your PC where you want to save the files. Now to save files on your computer, always go to File, Options, and then a pop-up window will appear. Here, click on the save option. Now, just check the box next to save to computer by default and that's it. Now, another thing that you can try is just unlinking your Microsoft account from the OneDrive settings. I mean, don't worry, this won't do any harm to your Microsoft account or the files that are already saved on your OneDrive account. They'll all stay there just the same way, but you'll just not get those OneDrive pop-ups. To do that, open up OneDrive settings, go to the account tab and click on unlink this PC. Confirm on the next screen and then restart your PC. Now you should be able to save your files directly on your computer. Lastly, if all else fails, well, you can always just uninstall OneDrive from your PC, right? For that, head over to settings, apps on your computer. Look for Microsoft OneDrive. Now hit the uninstall button. Once OneDrive is uninstalled from your PC, it's recommended to reboot your system. And don't worry, you can still access your existing data by signing into OneDrive.com from any web browser. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vam from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.